When I was a youngin, trying to understand the world around me was my drive. Once I had exhausted my parents asking stupid questions, you know, eventually I wanted to go out and measure the world for myself. I build the world's best clock is capable of measuring time to within one second in 40 million years. And although that seems incredibly esoteric, it turns out that at the heart of important machines to our lives, radar, communications, computing, you absolutely need a high performance clock. Four years ago, I've created a company to supply a product called CryoClock, which is going into the heart of another amazing Australian innovation, the Jindalee over the horizon radar. And this allows the radar to peer further uh, to see smaller objects that are hiding closer to the ground. Today I was bringing along this amazing watch that belonged to my grandfather, it was his 21st birthday present. And at the time, it represented the absolute pinnacle of precision. And I guess that really inspired me. I've always been driven by wanting to create more accurate and precise devices. And so my clock is the pinnacle of precision timekeeping these days, but it forms part of an amazing legacy throughout the history of humanity of building incredibly exquisite devices. People might think that the toughest thing to do when you build the world's best clock is actually the building of the clock itself. But that's not the tough thing. The tough thing is finding the customer and changing one's entire mindset so that you're not just exploring about the best possible device, but the one that makes most sense for the customer. When we started on this Sapphire Clock research, I just was, it was like a Hillary-esque idea. I could see Everest and I just wanted to climb it because it was there. I've probably grown up now and instead of just setting records, I'm trying to focus on really answering needs that will make a difference to normal people.